Hello everybody and welcome to another new comic book day. It's me Ghost Critic and I'm back to show you what books I picked up this week from the comic book store. It was going to be a very small week for me. I think I had five books to pick up, maybe four. However, I know I have a problem. It's an addiction, but I picked up another pile of comic books from their big sale there, having gone. I can't help myself. Someone needs to stop me when I'm in that store. Um, I'll more than likely be doing another comic book haul video very soon. Uh, and while we're talking about comic book video hauls, uh, thank you to everyone who has watched Monday's video. Uh, that was a big, huge um, Coventry Northampton haul. You all seem to like that. There were some goodies in there. There are some goodies in that pile down there. Um, I'll, I'll leave it a few days until I, I upload those, so look out for that. Sunday was, of course, my comic book review video. Thank you all for those who watched that. Um, yeah, that's all the videos at the moment. Uh, glad you're enjoying them, glad you're commenting and thumbing it up. And New subscribers, three this week. Um, we have from a comic book store actually in Rochester, I think, if I remember rightly. I've never been, but the channel is called The Nerd Corner. And the, the, I'm presuming the two guys who do the videos actually work in the store. They they film from within their shop and they show what books are out that week. Very much like I do, but within the confines of an actual comic book store. I will put a link to their channel in the description bar below. Also, Dennis48, thank you for subscribing to my channel. And also, Spec. Particularly, um, they subscribe to me as well. If you're new to my channel and you subscribe in the next seven days, you'll get a shout out in next Wednesday's video. And of course, if you do regular uploads to YouTube, then I'll put a link to your channel in the description bar and usher people your way. So, what did I pick up this week? Um, let's see, let's put these in order. Um, from Image, just the one this week, it's Remender's Low. This comes out very irregularly, so it's difficult to actually remember whatever happens in the previous issue. However, I do love this series, this kind of underwater sci-fi uh, story that Remender is telling with uh, Tachini on art. The, the artwork is lovely to look at. And probably why this book takes so long to come out. I don't particularly think it may be the story. I think it's more the art. So it's always a treat when it does come out. Uh, from DC, we have Wonder Woman, issue number 18, continuing the God Watch storyline. As always, loving Wonder Woman and what is going on in this um, rebirth universe. I like the idea of um, Wonder Woman and Diana not knowing who she is in one storyline and the other with um, everyone trying to find out where Themyscira is. Uh, obviously to do nefarious dealings if they ever find out where it is. But good stuff. Uh, new storyline starting in The Flash this week. Issue 18, Sins of the Father. I have no idea what that's going to be about. Really enjoyed the last one, Rogues Reloaded. Really enjoying Flash at the moment. Um, we've got, who have we got? We've got Marino on art this week. It, it does kind of alternate from um, issue to issue. Uh, but really enjoying The Flash, what more can I say? Uh, issue 42 of Kurt Busiak's Astro City out on Vertigo Comics. Um, I made issue 41, which was its 100th issue spanning every comic that, uh, of Astro City that's ever come out. I made that my pick of the week when it came out and it was a glorious issue. Um, and now we're back to, I guess, I guess the main present day storyline that's going on. Looking forward, as always, to reading that. Uh, we don't appear to have regular artists. I know we've got Clark and Parsons on the interior art, but always 
a golden age, silver age feel to um, the storytelling in this. Uh, finally from Marvel we have issue 9 of Dan Slott's Silver Surfer. I don't know what's going on with this um, comic, it's not been out for a while. I'm wondering if this is the last storyline. There were kind of rumours and murmurings going on at the end of the last issue. It felt like the final crescendo to this run of Silver Surfer could potentially be coming to an end, despite the fact, you know, it's got its its classic issue issue one on there, but it's really just the first part of the next phase storyline. So be interesting to see where Dan Slot is going to take Silver Surfer next. And they are all my comic books this week, I'm afraid. It's a very short video, but thank you for coming in and watching. Let me know what you picked up in the description bar, in, no, in the comments section down below. Give this video a big thumbs up. And don't forget, if you're new and you don't want to miss out on any of my videos, subscribe, hit that red button. Um, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you very, very soon. Bye-bye.